Oops. <laughs> of Oops. course I didn't. No. All right, so what we need to do now is look at the numbers on our tracks, and we need to see who has the highest. So I have three. Four. Uh, I guess I have a four. Uh, you have, have a, a three, three. actually. Is you know how numbers work, right? Which okay. track are we looking at? Then? This track. Your aggro track. Which track? Your aggro track. Uh, on you, on you track your character two. sheet. Yeah, so I'm at a four. Uh, no, yours... Where are you looking? You're looking, oh, you're looking at grays. <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. Oh, that explains. So you're at, three, handy, so you're at three, I'm at three, and of course the two tanks are at four. So what that means is that you two are tied, so these two monsters are even between you two. I'm going to get rid of that. So you've got a Renegade Flamecaster and a Blackwood Assassin. The Blackwood Assassin does more damage. The uh, Flamecaster is magical damage. Um, Let's hit points. <laughs> hmm? Let's hit points, yeah. So basically what you probably want to do is Gray is more damage-oriented than um, Finn Gray here. So maybe picking the one with less da uh, less hit points to Finn Gray because he could probably more easily deal with it. But he can tank the damage better that the Assassin deals out. That's that's true because here's the problem. Here's the one downside to Fingray. He defends really well, but only physical. Uh, he does have some cards that will help him do magical defense, but no, so doesn't you, own any right away. So you can't take the guys out before they attack you. You can. <laughs> yeah, we can kill them before they attack us. We we're just taking the monsters and then we get our attack phase. Yeah, but you need five damage to kill her, so that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Possibly, depending on what cards we have. Well, uh, do you have enough damage to uh, take either one of them out if you need to? Uh, let's see. I have a Furious Strike. If I discard a Taunt, I could possibly get through. Two. Uh, yeah, I could possibly kill... I could even kill her, but the problem is that we're going to get more enemies. I'm going to answer this real quick since it's on your stream there, Dad. He was, he's, uh, um, yeah, another, another YouTuber was asking uh, if I create the mods or load them. Th these are existent in Tabletop Simulator, so I didn't make it. Um, Hand of Fate and Tabletop Sim. Like, is there a Hand of Fate game? Are we talking about the same Hand of Fate that I've played many a times? Because I don't know if there's a board game version of it. No, I think he means uh, your popular series, Hand of Fate. Hmm. I don't know if I could do that. Um, let me see. What, let's see what you have here of Sven Gray. You have challenge, so you can... This is your taunt, so you can move creatures back and forth, or you can move creatures to your area by using that anytime you want. Um, you well, know, Gray did his thing already? Well, we're, I'm kinda, we're trying to figure out who should get what, because these two have to go to both of you. Why do they have to go to both of us? Because well, each. you're both because... equal on your aggro track. You're both at four. Yeah. So these two monsters come out, and you guys get to choose who gets which one. But why Why do these two come out and not those because, four? Because come, it comes in, an order. in order of appearance. All right, I get it. Yes. Right. Uh, so we're only going to get the chance to take out four of these guys anyways in the start. No, it's uh, we're they're all going to come out. Um, you'll see as it happens. Like basically, once they decide, you'll you'll see the next step. Right. I don't know, Gray. Uh, I I think you uh, might have to make more of a decision since you kind of know your tank a little better. Uh, which one you would rather have? I mean, I can block both of them, and I can I don't know how much damage he deals. Does he deal any damage? Well, he kind of deals. He does, but he's mostly defensive. Um, he can do th up to six damage with his sword, um, but he requires th discarding three cards to do it. But if you look at him, he's got he's got a block card, as well as his shield, so he can defend a lot this turn. So you may want to take the flame caster. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I've been thinking. Though I can also defend a bit. Like I can, I have my furious denial in my hand. Though obviously I'm going to get something else as well. Hmm. I'm just really confused right now. Yeah, don't worry. It's going to get. It's going to settle in. Just, just give it a moment. It's going to decide which one can do. How much can he block? 
He can block a lot. His shield blocks two because he has shield mastery. His chainmail blocks one. He has a block card that if he has a shield in his hand, he can cancel two damage. So, yeah, he can cancel like five damage right now, five physical damage. Yeah, I guess that's... But no magical damage, yeah. Right, not magical. He can't block magical unless he buys cards. Uh, yeah. My view is that I can block magical, so I guess I should take the sorcerer. All right, so let's just do that. That'll go to your left. That'll go to his left. Uh, comes to the left there. Sorry. All right, so now that they've gotten monsters, what happens is the moment a monster goes into your hero area, your aggro track gets reduced by half rounding down. So they're both at four, so they go down to two. Now that they're at two, you and I are higher than them. We both have three. Mm -hmm. See how that works? Yeah. So now we get to choose between these two, and I believe they're the same. Yes, they are. Yep, they so are. it doesn't really matter. I will take one. You take the other. And our tracks go down? Yep. Half rounding down, so they go down to one. Which means we're in the same situation as we've been a moment ago. So now it's these two again with... Two and two. And, yeah, it looks like the same creature. So you probably want to do the same thing, I would guess. Um, let's see. He could easily I mean, he could easily kill one of them and block the other, to be honest. Same to me. I can I can block both of them. I can kill both of them. So, like, I mean, you guys fine. I don't even know right now. I don't think he's getting it. <laughs> Which which part is confusing you? Everything. Well, we're just putting out enemies. Uh, what can you can you put everything into words? No, let's just let's just keep going and let's see what okay. happens let's... when actual attacks happen. All right. Okay. Well, what do you want to do then, Gray? You, it's basically your decision then. Right. Oh right, I can't. Oh right, the benefit is of course that they're skirmishers. So if they both stay in the same area, you can directly attack them. Yeah, so probably best to give him both the skirmishers so that he can just have both of them. Yep. So there we go. So. so let's just look at the cards and make sure there's no special abilities. Oh, bring your tracks down again. So you guys were at two, so both of your aggro tracks go down to one. <coughs> so just looking at these, what do I have? Shield slam whenever a parry, uh, player buries any cards. Uh, he, I get two days tokens. Oh, that's kind of nasty. Yeah. <laughs> He's weak against lightning, though, so I like that. Um, you have the same guy. Uh, so Dead has these two Blackwood Assassins. They have an ability called Venomous. So whenever you bury a card, basically take damage. You also get a poison token. <laughs> they also have something called Skirmisher, which requires an, an additional range in order to hit them. So if you had, for example, if you guys had done this instead to where you've got one character that's not ranged and one character that is, you would need a ability that has a two to hit him. So like your sword, you'll notice it only has a one. So you couldn't actually reach him. But because we did it the other way around, they're both range, so it cancels that. Right. So I got a question. You, you said uh, range includes uh, shooting into another character's area, right? So could I shoot into one of these monsters? Yes. As a matter of fact, your ability, your character, you'll notice, has sharpshooter, which allows you to do one. It, basically, you do more damage when you hit things that are not close right. to you. Yeah. So uh, you have a range of two on most of your abilities. Like, look, if you, if you look at your bow, it says re the regular attack has a two in the circle. Yeah. So you can attack anything in your zone or anything in the quest area, or anything in any other player's zone. Oh, okay. All right? Yep. Um, so if you think you could defend your, you know, his damage, you could help someone else with what they're about to take. But we've got two other tanks, so you probably would more have worried about your guy for now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like once I take care of this guy, I can start shooting over here. Yeah. And conversely, either one of these two could take that character away from you so that you can fight him at ranged. If So what oh. happens is we get to go first, and we can go in any order we want to. Yeah. yeah. So, for example, let's see, do you have a taunt? I do have a taunt. You have taunt, and uh, dead has challenge, which is basically the same skill. Mm -hmm. It allows them to move any enemy into their hero zone. Yeah. 
So if either one of them did that to this guy, you could then be free to attack at range any character you want, and you have plus one damage, so you might need you would probably need less cards to kill it. Yeah. So regular action to two. Discard it for I don't have any of my healing, and that, that really sucks. Um Oh, four. Can I do five? Let's see, two, three, four, five. Oh, so I could, yeah, if this guy was over in somebody else's area, I could do five and take out uh, pretty much anybody who had uh, five hit points. Yep, I mean, your, your regular action on your bow is two uh, normally, so you get three automatically on that. And then discard these cards, right? And then you could discard any, you know, a number of cards to do even more. Hell, if you wanted to, these two are just fours to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's probably, hold on, what do these guys do? Uh, whenever you bury a card, you basically get a fire token. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can kill one and block one, so it's not like I'm going to take damage. Okay, that's cool. Um, so let's see, what would be easier for you that it would take less cards? Because um, that would be two, three, and what do you need for him? Four, five? five. five so, you need, so you need two. So what do you have? You have... Yeah, I didn't even look draw. Okay, you don't have any major damage. Your hasty shot, that's a fast action, so it's not going to do a lot of damage, but it's quick damage, right? If yeah. you have a bow equipped, you deal two damage, and you can do a third damage if you use a card. So what you probably want to do is go ahead and... This is a good time for you to use your replenish cards, because you've got two. Okay. So you could use your long bow, and you could discard two replenish cards to get two tokens. All right. Right? And then uh, you'll notice things like Hasty Shot uses tokens to do more damage. So you've got two Hasty Shots, so great. That means you're just going to be able to do two additional damage. All right, so re well, the thing is, Reflex, draw one. So what's the Reflex action do then? So Reflex, you can do at any time. Fast uh -huh. actions are on your turn. Reflexes are at, a, at any time. Um, so I would say... Let's have one of these two go first so that they can take him, because otherwise yeah. you're going to have to discard three cards to kill that thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm just saying, on the reflex, you discard the card to draw another card, right? Is that how that works? Uh, which one are you looking at? Uh, replenish. So replenish, if you use it, like if you just use it out of your hand, yeah. you would discard it yeah. and then draw a card. Okay. But if you use it as part of your bow... You don't get the draw a card, you just discard it. And then you get a token. And then you get the token because of the special ability that Replenish has. All right. All right. So let's let's um, maybe start over here so that we can help Dead out with this. Or, do you, or Gray, do you have your, tur your turn lined out yet? I have pretty much lined it out, yeah. All right. Let's do this. So that way they can see what your turn is. So yeah. we're going to go all over to you because you know what you want to do. So first tell us what your first action is going to be. <laughs> First action is going to be a uh, Wrath Call. Okay, so he's going to use this Wrath Call ability from the hand. He's going to use it. He gets to draw one card, and it ca causes his focus track here to go up two. Okay. I got to draw a card. Oh, nice. Excuse me, Furious Strike. Second one. Next thing I'm going to do is actually play my Furious Strike. Okay, so Furious Strike, it's a regular action, so it's the one action, one regular action he gets. It says he can resolve any action of an axe card that he has equipped, which basically means he can now do one of these and it's going to modify it in some way. The modification is that if it does any damage, he gets to add two to it, but he has to bring his track up one. So I'll just go ahead and do that now, because he played this. So now he gets to pick an action on his hand axe. I'm going to do the fast action because then it comes on top of my deck. Okay, so he's going to use the first fa the sorry the second fast action. The okay. axe will deal two damage. His track goes up two. Mm -hmm. All right, he can now discard 
one card to make it do an additional damage. At this point, if we look at it, it's doing two damage. This card adds two more damage, so that's a total of four right now. And if we look at his creature, it's a two health creature with two defense. All he needs is four, so he has no reason to discard a card right now. Actually, doesn't he need to... Doesn't he need to? Um, well, no, I'm just saying it, the the thing, if that action deals any heart, add to, okay, so it's not, okay, it's I was so thinking it had to penetrate through the armor before you got the plus two. Um, it, it's, uh, if it does any damage, it, it, it just because it doesn't penetrate the armor doesn't mean yeah. it. It yeah. says deal two directly on the yeah. card. So mm-hmm. that's the thing is if he had to get through the armor, then yeah, it would suck. But he, all he has to do is do the damage, which basically hits the armor. So it, it counts. Yeah. So he gets the four. Um, so four will kill either one of these. So we'll take those, and that'll go away. That gives us one of our resolve. Resolve. Now the the final part of that says, place any shield cards you have equipped on top of your deck. He doesn't have any, and then place this card on top of your deck. So now the axe goes to his deck. Now that was a regular action mm-hmm. using a fat. Now so that was yeah okay a regular yeah. yeah. Okay. So there you go. So that's how that worked. So do you have anything else you're going to do? I'm contemplating if I want to do the fast action and ditch, ditch, uh, um, ditch my taunt to deal at least one wound on that thing. But I don't think it's really making much of a difference since I can do that later as well. Oh, wow, your taunt only has a range of one. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yeah. You don't be able to get a thing from here or the... Thing. No, he, he can't at all because he a range of one is only in his zone. Now, here's the, here's the caveat to that. If he didn't have any monsters in his area, he basically gets free additional range. Oh, all right. Um, so if he got rid of this monster, he could use it, but right now he can't. So what we could do is challenge has a range of two. So we'll probably do that card to do what we want to do with you. Uh, so anything else, Gray? Uh, no, I think I'll save it. I'm going to furiously deny all this thing when it attacks me. And yep. Okay, so that ends his hero phase. So he gets to draw up to five. So he gets one more card. So now we go... Let's... And as the fast action, you can put it back in this thing, right? That's what he did, yeah. The fast action he put it on, here's basically what happened. His fast action put it on his deck. He has four cards. He gets to draw it, so now he gets that card he just used. But he can't put it back down in his hero. Oh, my right, over. because his turn is over at this point. All right, all right. So now we go over to dead. We want to look at what you can do. So if we look at your war sword, right, you, you want to probably kill one of these. You do physical damage, so you need to do at least five, right? Three health plus two armor. So your sword, as a regular action, does three. And you can discard two more to do the five you need. Unless there's something in your hand that will... uh, You can draw a card. That's true. You can, if you want, use these two toughness cards you have to draw and get more cards. Might not be a bad idea. We don't know what you might get. So I play both of them now. Yep, you, well, you can also play one first and then the other, like you can decide. Yep, so you can play one and then draw your card. And you got lunge. So actually, that will help you out. So instead of discarding two cards, you can lo- use lunge, which is going to end up being the same thing, honestly, because you're going to play lunge instead of discarding it. But I well, but you'd have to discard two cards. Now he has to discard one, so. So bl- this lets you resolve like, just like what Gray did. You can resolve any action of one of your weapons cards, and it will deal two additional damage. So if you use your war sword with this, that's five damage right there. So you don't need to discard any cards, actually. You just use the lunge, and you can kill one. So I know about this in here. Right. So that, if we look at it, it says, okay, resolve an action. It'll do two more damage. We have to move this up one. So now you would pick the action from your war sword. You want to do the one that does the more damage, right? Three. Yeah. It says deal three plus two. That's five. That should kill it. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, and then I move this two uh, up two more. Correct. And this guy's dead. Exactly. Right. And that guy was worth two of these. I'm going to move this back over because I'm just so used to it being over here. So that's how that worked. All right. So very good. Now, if we look at this, we see that um, you have to discard this card at the end. See at the very end, it says discard this card. Yeah, it is that pile. Now, if you look at your ability, though, Never Defenseless lets you use a fast action to take a weapon or shield from your discard and put it back on top of your deck. <laughs> yeah. So you can take that sword and just put it on the deck now. That's how you get your weapons back. You can't just cycle through your deck, so you get your weapons back through abilities. All right, so and that ends my turn. Turned well, out. let's let's see what else you can do because you have any number of you you did your normal action, but you can do reflexes and you can do fast. Um, so you could, if you wanted to, use your other toughness to draw another card to see what you get. Well, I know I would get my weapon back. Right, so you could do that now to get the weapon if you wanted to, and then re-equip it. Now, if you look at it, it says a fax action. It, you place it in the hero zone to equip it, and it brings the track up one. Oh. Okay, so reflexes, reflex actions can be you, done after you've done your... Reflex uh, actions can be literally done any time. Okay, okay. They're basically a reflex to something, right? They're a yep. response to something. Yep. All right, so you've done that. Um, so all you've really got now is a block card, which is a defensive card, and you've got two challenge cards. So there's really not much else you can do. So what we should do is we should help your archer friend up here. Right, get this you... enemy into my enemy space. Exactly. So you'd play that, and the way this works is now you take this guy, he goes here, and just like normal, you move your track down by half. So you go from three to one. Yeah. All right. This goes there. All right. So, and because you saved that draw card and you got your sword back, you now can actually get more card draw here at the end of your turn. So now that your turn's over, you draw three more cards to bring you back up to five. Please let me know if at any time it doesn't make sense or if you want me to try and elaborate on anything. I'd rather you, you know, enjoy it and have fun Hi. with it. Oh, no, it makes sense. I just have to get into it. Look uh, at that. Love my hand axes. <laughs> remember how I was at the beginning of uh, the first time we played Deck Builder? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, ex ex expect that. It's all good. It's all good. All right, so now what we'll go ahead and do is uh, we'll do the Archer turn. Yeah. So now you can with your... Where is it? Did you... You didn't actually get a... See, that's for you, it's kind of tricky because you could use your Replenish to hope to get another card that does more damage. Yeah. But honestly, since you have two Replenish and you need to do two more damage anyway, getting more tokens may not be a bad idea instead of getting more cards. Yeah. Um, so if you do that, as we mentioned before, it's two plus one for each, so two, three, four, one more for five, and so that would kill that guy there. All right, so or, please. you know what... You know what? Don't do that. Kill this one. It's worth more. Do you see that? He's worth two tokens. Not only that, but it's the same health. Okay. Um, okay, so I got to go through the whole... Uh, discard. Uh, I don't want to... Well, no, actually, I could discard this thing and then get it back. Um, deal two. Move the track up to... Uh, We've only killed two creatures, right, Gray? Yeah. Okay, so that's why three. Okay. So, so the replenish card. I am discarding this with the attack in order to place um, a So I'm yeah. discarding both of these replenishes at the same time, right? Right, because if you look at the longbow, says deal two. And you can discard up to three. Yeah. So for each card, it's plus one damage. So two, three, four. And because Replenish has that special ability, you also get 
Um, I put it over here. Two, two of these tokens. Right? Two of these right here. Okay. Now this card. Let's see if I actually place here. I'll place two of them. Place me one from this to the end. Part for that. So as a fast action, I'm putting one of these tokens on this, right? You can do that. You don't necessarily have to because the bow itself doesn't need it. Since a, since it's oh, a fast oh. action, you can do that any number of times that you want. Uh -huh. um, so at this point, you really don't have a need to do it. Um, so you might as well just keep them in the quiver for now until, right. you, until you have a need for them. Okay. Um, because once you take them out of the quiver, you can't move them again. So if you bought a card that used them, you wouldn't be able to move it from, like, if you moved it to the bow. Yeah. You wouldn't move it, be able to move it from the bow to another card. So at this point, though, you have two hasty shots which are mm -hmm. both fast action damage. And they can do a total of three damage, right? Two plus one for, for discarding a token. So is there, let's, what we should do is see if there's anything you can do with that three damage. Um, you could kill the Renegade Flamecaster because she has four health. So three damage would do one wound, and then another three damage would do another one wound. So you could kill that Flamecaster. Um, let's see. You couldn't kill the Brigand... Now you're saying killing more than one guy, right? Uh, you could kill this one, basically, with both of those cards. I thought we were going to kill this one. Well, we're going that's to. So, so that's yeah. what he's did. This guy, this guy is actually now dead because he spent the cards to do that. So okay, he, so you're saying I can right. kill another guy then? Yes. You're saying. All right. Because if you look at those other two cards, they're fast actions. You can do any number of fast actions you want. All right. Um, it does two damage. Uh, did we move your track up? We didn't. Hold on. Let me just make sure we do that properly. Um, what is it? It is, it goes up two and then an additional one for each card. So it goes up four. Ugh. Okay. So, but if you look at this, it does two damage. Uh -huh. If you discard one of these four tokens, it does three it doesn't go up any higher than that, right? It doesn't go any higher than that. But with your ranged ability, it's actually four. So you could kill this with one shot. Oh, okay. So I only need to discard one card then, right? Right. So basically you use Hasty Shot as an action. You yeah, discard a token. So it goes up one and one for the token. So it does this. Yeah. Now that goes to the reinforcement. You notice that went to the reinforcement icon. So we have to move this up one. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. <laughs> and what if, yeah, so do more monsters start popping out then? They will at the end of the turn. But that's, so, that's okay because we're killing these things. We've killed what? We've killed one, two. Well, yeah, but I was thinking. So we've killed I four creatures, right? Yeah, three. but if I, if I don't. Oh, this will be the fourth one. Sorry. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if I don't kill that, he can tank this one, right? And I reinforcements can, yeah. won't show up. They will. Um, no, he's actually got a point. They, he's actually has a point. If we don't move the track up, we won't get oh, reinforcements. I mean. However, um, if we can kill everything in one turn, we can end it. So oh, okay. okay. The question is, can we do that? Because we've got two of these fighters, and I'm not sure if we can. And the thing is, even if we get reinforcements, right now we're only going to get one monster. You notice how it's on the one? Yeah. So we're something only going to. Someone tells me it's going to show up in my area too. Now that my track is way the hell up there. <laughs> the kind of damage I can do on my turn. Let's see if we want to actually do that. Um, uh, let's see. That does fire damage. What is there a weakness that's weak to lightning? I don't have lightning. Does yours have? Yours is divine. Hmm. But I can't hit it. I don't think I have a ranged ability. But if I if I can tank it, I can also, I also increase my my aggro and I can receive the next enemy. All right. The Archer. Well, then let's do that. I kill kill your guy off and then. If you don't kill him, I can block him and that would increase my aggro, which would mean that he comes to me. The next reinforcement comes to me rather than you. You're uh, yeah, you're one above him right now. Um... Yep. If I block two damage, I'm going to be at eight, which would put me. In the target zone. <laughs> but that also moves the uh, thing up too, doesn't it? Yeah, but the next one is still one, so it's not really critical. 
So we're going to get one either way. Um, where it goes, probably not a big deal because we'll probably kill it, to be honest with you. That's yeah. true. Get it, get it, get it. Um, so do you want to just do that and we'll take the token for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Damn, so many tokens are in here now. One, two, three, four. Uh. Actually, right. you know what? You know what? Do this. Let me see. How much damage can you do? You would do two, three, four. Oh, you want me to take out... Uh... I'm thinking maybe damage, since he can tank his, maybe do damage to mine, and then I can kill it after you do damage to it. And then what I'll do is we've got some statuses. I, I think I've got some cards that can get rid of statuses. Hold on. Oh, that, I'm looking at yours. Why am I looking at yours? Because <laughs> you're a silly goose. I am a silly goose. Oh, I think it's my regular heal that does it, and I don't have it in my hand. Oops. Um, ah. Dang it. Um, can you give me a minute? I gotta give my cat some medicine. That's no problem. Giddy break. You know what? Seems like a good time to write down I'm gone, perhaps. All right. Hey, would you guys mind if we got okay, party agrees? Because <laughs> you're you're our major source of damage, other aside from Gray getting some cards. Um, oh, yeah, if I could find a few, I can deal all sorts of magic damage. So what we'll do is we're going to spin the three. We'll get you this Arcane Bow Mastery so it goes in your hand. 